Hey folks, Jim from Slick Audio. One of the most requested videos and, and questions that I get all the time is this whole, what type of interface should I buy? USB-C, um, Thunderbolt, uh, Thunderbolt 4, um, or USB 2, USB 3. Um, so let's uh, try to dispel the myth, shall we? Um, on the slide here that I've got, uh, the uh, you can see in 1986 that Type A, Type B, so that's the type A you're going to see for USB 1, but USB 2 and USB 3. So still around, very common today, and uh, there are a lot of interfaces, which I'm going to touch base on in a little bit, that are available. Uh, fast forward to the 2014 where the USB-C came into the picture. That really kind of was the game changer, if you will, and when when Thunderbolt and USB uh, started unifying the connector, of course, being, you know, Intel type thing from a Thunderbolt side and, and then your IEEE from the USB side uh, finally got together and agreed, hey, we better just do this thing together. So anyways, the USB-C connector to this day is as popular as it's ever been. Now, that being said, let's talk about some generic USB-C, and you can see here on the slide, um, let's be concerned with USB 2, because one, I don't even think exists in any type of equipment anymore, if it would even work. But anyways, USB 2, 480 meg megabits per second. Um, it is a, uh, it's still a very common type connection for a lot of peripherals, your mouse, your keyboard, that kind of stuff, and it does its job very well. There are several manufacturers, like uh, I'm going to pick on RME just because they're probably one of the best that, that uh, handle the whole USB 2 um, stuff. Their drivers are phenomenal. The chipsets that they're using inside their equipment <clears throat> are beyond, they're beyond good. It, it's just tolerance is so tight and drivers so well written that you just get phenomenal audio performance uh, out of it. So. It ain't dead, and it ain't going to be dead for a long time. Um, it works. It does more than adequate of a job uh, for even some high track counts, uh, as in inputs, number of inputs. So then we go up to USB 3.1, and that is really where, uh, you know, the, the game changes for me. Uh, RME's highest end interface is USB 3. Uh, we're just simply call it USB 3, 3.1. Um, you notice the Type B connector changes. Uh, it is different on this connector. It is a, a, a weird, wide, fat-looking connector, and I'll show you another picture of that here in a little bit. Um, but uh, that is phenomenal. I mean, you've got 5 gigabits per second out of that, um, which is way, 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 way more than, than audio needs. Um, you know, when you're talking, you know, a, a single channel of audio is... A fraction of that case in point when you're looking at this uh, chart you could see a 44.1 kilohertz 16-bit uh, file it only consumes point zero point seven megabits per second not gig megabits per second so even at 192 K 24 bit which is the highest res we can do 4.6 megabits per second so it is an absolute fraction. So when you start talking numbers like 5 gig, 10 gig, 20 gig, 40 gig uh, gigabits per second, it's a huge, huge difference. Um, moving right up to USB 3.1 uh, Gen 2 and USB 3.2, you, you can see that, you know, it's, it's really can get confusing. Both can use a Type-C connector, um, USB Gen 3.1 Gen 2, um, obviously can use a type A connector, but we see them sometimes like that, and we see them sometimes at USB-C, but you really got to be watching. Somebody could generically say, well, yeah, you know, it's USB-C connector. Well, yeah, the type of connector is USB-C, but it's not true USB-C. Um, so moving right along here, uh, USB 3.2, talked about that, um, and then it shows the, the two older types. Uh, the older type of Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt 1, 2, used a, a mini display port connector, uh, and then uh, Thunderbolt 3 and 4, uh, now you use the same USB-C connector. And you're going to see a very interesting slide here uh, in a moment. Um, 
not to beat it to death, but let's just talk some speeds real quick. Uh, this, you could pause the video and, uh, and study this. Um, I'm just going to kind of blow through it because I don't want to make a huge deal out of it because today, you know, the USB 4, uh, w which really, right, USB C, as we think about it today, USB 4. So it can run at 20 gig a second or 40 gig a second, which by the way is the same as Thunderbolt 4. Um, there are some differences between Thunderbolt 4 and USB 4. Uh, we will touch base on that in a future slide coming quickly, coming to a slide near you. Um, but yeah, you can see the general, uh, you know, the general progression of, of as time went and, and speed as it improved. So take a look at that at your leisure. Uh, this just shows you the, the various types of connectors, uh, not to beat it to death again, but, you know, type A, type B, there's obviously the other type B for the USB 3.2, right, or 3.1, sorry, my bad. Um, USB 3, if you notice, it's blue, so if you ever see, look at the back of the computer, you see a blue connector, that's a true USB 3. Uh, if it's white, uh, it is a true USB 2, and if it's black, it's usually a, a USB 3.2. So, FYI, moving right along. Uh, now here's just the the uh, cable markings uh, and what you would find on the side of a cable. Not all cables, unfortunately, have this as they should, as they're supposed to. Um, but again, you can pause the slide, take a look at it. Um, somebody's going to say, "Well, geez, what's that SS? You know, D." Uh, the USB 3 DP display port. Um, it just means it's it's capable of handling display port, which both USB 4 and Thunderbolt 4 can handle. You'll see it a future slide. And of course, Thunderbolt, uh, you know, you can tell that it's got the lightning connector on it, right? It's got the Thunderbolt connector. Here is a, an enlarged picture of the USB A and B. Um, there's the A and B type 2, if you will. And notice the SS on the cable, super speed. So that means it's 3.0 or 3.1. This, uh, if you'll notice, there is a Thunderbolt on the top. But that is a Thunderbolt cable. Um, but it is also a USB-C cable, USB-4 cable. You can use a Thunderbolt 4 cable for USB-4. You can't use a USB-4 cable for Thunderbolt. So, show that here in a second. Ah, here you go. So, you can see Thunderbolt 4 and, uh, you know, and USB 4 cable. So, you've got that 40 gig transfer. Uh, it is a maximum length of one meter. So, don't bother going to look for one that's longer than that. You will not find it. That is the theoretical maximum at 3.2 feet. Um, 100 watt power delivery through both. Both can handle dual 4K displays, assuming they're running at, uh, at 40. Uh, if they're only if the USB 4 is running at 20, which there are two types, then it is only going to support one display. Um, of course, it's all Intel. We know that and uh, USB C compatible. Which can handle. So coming up to the last slide here, the uh, you can see some general properties of USB 4 versus Thunderbolt 4. Um, you know, networking support. Yes, out of Thunderbolt 4, USB 4 does not have that available. Um, but after all, folks, uh, this slide has a lot of good stuff to it. We are talking about audio, and both will handle audio without any problem at all. So, I'm going to show you some interfaces that uh, have some of these various connections on them. Uh, one I happen to have in front of me right here. Um, this is a Universal Apollo Solo, the little guy. I just kind of keep it here to do some testing. But that, if you'll notice, dun, da, 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 Thunderbolt. This is Thunderbolt 3. Now, I wish it would say that, but you have to pull up the documentation to be able to uh, ascertain what type of connection it is. Um, but nonetheless, it is Thunderbolt 3, and uh, and which is backwards compatible. Uh, Thunderbolt 4 will run this device, which I do frequently. Um, I have another device over to my left here that is a an Antelope Audio Zen Tour. That's actually a pretty cool uh, device because it it can use Thunderbolt uh, 3 or USB. Um, 
I keep both connected because there is some advantages to both, but from a pure speed connect, you know, connectivity uh, with Antelope, I would say the Thunderbolt definitely takes over um, and can handle a decent amount of input. Now, the biggest drawback to Thunderbolt right now, and it has been for some time, is, is device and driver support, right? If you write a terrible driver for whatever operating system you're running, um, it, it, I don't care how fast the thing could be, it won't because you're going to have issues, driver issues. Uh, it's unfortunate, but there's many companies that don't spend enough time developing the drivers and, and just tweaking them and doing the right thing. Um, I had mentioned prior about uh, RME with its USB and how well it does with that. Uh, I, they don't even make a Thunderbolt interface um, that I'm aware of. And I'm pretty aware of it because we resell it. Um, but they're, uh, you know, they, they know and they feel that their USB tech is so good that it can compete with any of it. And it's true. It really is true. Uh, they're also uh, now getting heavily into Dante. Uh, which is a whole different video um, for a different time. Uh, that is audio over Ethernet. I'm going to do just a whole separate thing on that. And uh, I think you all are going to enjoy that one. That's There's some pretty neat stuff. And I'll probably be moving a camera around and uh, showing you my audio over Ethernet setup in my studio. And uh, that uses Maddie and some other stuff in there. Pretty cool. Um, so uh, USB-C uh devices so uh, i have one in the other room uh, here's a unit from sonus this is the studio 1824c um, as you'll notice this has got all kinds of neat connections and stuff on it and this is a true usb-c um interface so non-thunderbolt uses a usb-c connector obviously you need usb-c on your computer uh, which most computers, all of ours have that, um, will have. And uh, they, it is just unbelievably fast. And uh, it, quite honestly, I think far more stable uh, than Thunderbolt is, uh, just because of, again, you know, the drivers and all the other you know, nonsense. I, I mean, Thunderbolt, I'm, I'm busting on it a little bit here, guys. It is good, very good tech. Uh, most of the, the manufacturers that we carry, it works very, very well with, uh, and, and we obviously spend a lot of time and effort trying to get our machines to do, you know, the best that it can with it. But uh, the one thing I can say about USB, um, whether it's, you know, 2, 3, 3, 1, 3, 2, or, you know, USB-C, um, as in USB, this is USB 3, I think, or USB, yeah, this may be USB 4 device. Um, technical difference. Box bell. Oops. Um, the the uh, it, it's just they're they're rock solid. You plug them in. You turn it. You turn your machine on. You plug it in. It works. Period. The end. Um, Thunderbolt for the most part works that way, but it can be a little bit uh, persnickety at times, uh, for lack of a better word. And um, but nonetheless, um, both. What I'm trying to say is all are fantastic. You just need to pick what you need. If you're doing small track counts, for, let's just say, you know, two tracks, a two-channel interface, um, up to, uh, again, this is recording, simultaneous recording, uh, up to, I don't know, 24 or so, USB 2. Handle it fine all day, uh, every day. Uh, as far as latency concern, you know, again, depending on the manufacturer, right? If, if they take their time like RME, you're going to get incredible uh, you know, uh, speeds, um, whereas some that are cheaper and not written, drivers not written so well, you're going to have uh, higher latency. Still not terrible, though. Now, when you start talking 24 plus tracks, then I'd recommend you go to the uh, to the USB 3, you know, from RME um, or USB-C or Thunderbolt, uh, because that just makes sense. Or audio over Ethernet. Don't forget about that. That's a whole different animal, again, for another day. But um, so that should about do it for USB. If there's any questions, you can always call us, uh, call Slick Audio at 570-371-5800. Uh, talk to any one of us, and uh, we'll be glad to guide you, help you, sell something to you, and I'll recommend a computer, recommend the, you know, the interface, whatever you are looking for, uh, we can get it for you.
So appreciate it. Visit, visit us at our store, uh, store.slickaudio.com. Um, and uh, have a time, man. Talk to you soon. Be good.